Access to instant hot or cold water has never been easier thanks to Avalon's bottleless water coolers. In a few simple steps, you'll be on your way to an endless supply of great tasting water. First, locate your cold water supply for your refrigerator line. Turn the cold water valves to the off position. Next, cut the PE tubing that is currently inserted into the refrigerator and insert the three-way plastic adapter between the cut tubing. Then, insert the PE tubing that is supplied with the water cooler into the remaining opening of the three-way plastic adapter. Now we are going to flush both filters before we install them. First, twist the sediment filter into the provided filter flushing adapter by rotating it clockwise. Next, take the open end of the PE tubing that is now connected to your water supply and insert it into the left inlet hole of the filter flushing adapter in the direction of the arrow. Hold the filter in place over a sink or a bucket and turn on the water supply. Allow the water to flow through the adapter for approximately two minutes, then repeat these steps with the carbon filter. Now we are ready to complete our installation. Attach the two black mounting brackets to the back of the cooler by inserting the longer pegs upward into the slots of the condenser, then click the shorter pegs into place. Slide the two filter adapters into the mounting brackets and twist the sediment filter into the left adapter and the carbon filter into the right filter adapter. Next, locate the valve and tube assembly and connect the tube to the left insert of the left filter adapter. Connect the PE tubing from your water source to the open end of the valve and tube assembly. Connect the smallest PE tubing to the inner outlets of both filters. Remove the plug from the filter inlet located on the back of the unit by pressing the push connect ring that is behind the plug. Connect the remaining small PE tubing to the right side of the right filter adapter and insert the open end of the PE tubing into the water inlet. Now turn on the valve located next to the left side filter. Then turn both valves at the cold water source behind your refrigerator back to the on position as well. Plug the power cord into a grounded wall outlet and allow the water to fill in the tanks for about 10 to 15 minutes. Next, dispense a drop of water from the hot and cold spouts to test if the inner tanks have filled. And finally, activate the heating and cooling switches located on the back of your unit and you're ready to go.